Alright, this is Swift Shock, and I'll be stirring up the Halo DS topic just a little bit more. I'm here to show everybody how easy it is to mod a game to your liking. I will obviously be using Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast, published by LucasArts. With the correct files, you can do anything with the game. I'm just here in the game already to show you all the character models I have. They're all Star Wars based. Everything the game came with, I haven't added anything yet. As you can see, very, very bland, not very, not very different aside from the typical Star Wars armor and the occasional Star Wars alien. Alright, now I downloaded four files on file front. One is Master Chief, which is a very poorly done model, but I decided to download it just for this purpose. I also downloaded two Covenant models, just different colors. These two are very well done. I downloaded a new map that has nothing to do with the Star Wars universe or Halo, but I couldn't find one. And uh, I also downloaded a new weapon, which was the plasma pistol, and I'll be copying and pasting those into the program files now. Alright, we're now back in the game. Go back to the same tab I took you to before setup. And you'll notice we now have one Master Chief model and two Covenant Elites. Let's go ahead and start the game and check those out. And the map I downloaded, which seems to be of Asian influence, it's called Bushido. Now that right or if that means it. Alright, as you can see, I'm the Covenant Elite, and he is very well done. Just want to mute that for a second. Now, this is something I noticed that the garage developers and or EA uh, developers did not do with the Halo DS game. They changed the audio on the Elite, so when he jumps, it's actually a grunt from the Halo series. Now that you've seen him, let's go ahead and exit so I can show you the plasma pistol. The specific game type we were doing would not allow for the plasma pistol to be in that game. Alright, let's go ahead and change to Master Chief. As you can see, this is obviously the Covenant Plasma Pistol from the Halo series. It shoots green, just like just like the real Plasma Pistol. Even has a charge. For some reason, it doesn't charge green. I don't know why. But yeah, very well done mods. I mean, they're obviously. I did this in a matter of seconds. Granted, I did not make the models, but I've played in a in a 3D software before, and it doesn't take that long to just make one model. All right, this is Swift Shock's commentary, and I hope you enjoyed. Now you see how easy it is to create a model.